Okay, can everybody hear me? See the slide? Let me know. Welcome. Go ahead and start. We are thrilled to have you. Please go ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathy. Welcome, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, as I was saying. It's Thanksgiving week. Uh, so, should be an interesting week here for the market after the drop-off we had today. We'll see where we go. I do think it's a slow week for the market. Um, be very careful if you trade. Today, however, was a good day to trade, specifically if you like to short. And we're going to go over today's trade. So, my name is Melissa Armo. For those of you that don't know me, I own the Stock Swoosh. And I started the Stock Swoosh about six years ago. Started trading about ten years ago now, which is hard to believe, but 2008. And I'm going to talk to you tonight about how you can earn a living day trading stocks because that's what I focus on. That's what I do. So if you have any questions, um, here, I'm just going to put it in here. You can write it in the room right there where I put that. Can everybody just see there where I just typed? I clicked off a minute so you can see the typing. So just write in any questions as you go along and I will answer them. Okay. But I'll answer them as we go along the slides tonight. So if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So day trading, specifically, if you want to do this, is not about long-term investing. It's about chunking out the profits on a daily basis. So in that, in that aspect of it, it really is one of the greatest jobs in the world because you don't work eight hours a day when you trade. First of all, the market isn't even open eight hours, number one. And number two... It's only open from Monday through Friday. And I specifically focus on US stocks. Now, if you choose to do this, you will be working for yourself. That means you have to manage your own time, you have to choose your own risk, you have to choose the trades that you're gonna take, and you have to be disciplined in your, in your approach. So a long time ago when I started out, like I said 10 years ago, I was all over the place like many people still are today, and I didn't have a focus. And one day I did a gap and I made a lot of money and I realized there was something to gaps. And of course I didn't know how to trade gaps. And most of the information is out there on the internet and other companies that are educational, stock educational trading companies similar to mine, most of them teach gaps in a way that is incorrect. So I developed a very specific system. It's a 26 point rating system. We'll talk about this more today. That is so, so focused that I look at 26 things every morning in a chart to determine the best, best stock to trade. And that is how you can become successful. It is not about doing 25 trades in a day. And in fact, people that do any more than I'd say probably six, seven trades a day are over trading and giving a lot of money back in commissions to the broker. And chances are uh, you, you won't do well like that. You can't be focused if you're over trading. You can be focused if you make a lot of profits in one trade, but you have to choose the correct stock ticker symbol to do. And not only that, you have to get it in the right direction. So today's trade which was a very big trade, was NVIDIA. And we will go over that today here or tonight. So if you've ever thought about day trading for a living, uh, you know, you've come to the right place because one of my goals was to move outside of my mortgage job. I wanted to quit. The mortgage business was failing 2007, 2008, 2009. Everyone started the crash that happened with the mortgage industry. So I was looking for a new career. And lo and behold, I found out about the market. But it was a definite process for me to develop my own system and now if you want to learn my system, you would come and pay me for the information in the class and you'd learn it in a two-day weekend course. And we'll talk about that more as we go along. But there are different types of traders. If you want to trade, there are many, many different types of traders. We're focusing right now today on day trading. And I am going to talk about the option trade here tonight, which you could have done as a day trade or you could have done it as an overnight trade. Uh, but you could have done the option trade in the video as a day trade too. But either way... You have to get in your head and decide what type of trader you want to be. Do you want to be a day trader? Do you want to do equities? Do you want to do options? Do you want to do swing trades? I think it has a lot to do with, first of all, what your, what your schedule is. If you work a job where you have to be at that job and you cannot uh, trade between 9.30 Eastern Time and 10 a.m. Eastern Time, which is when the active day trades, the equity trades set up, then you're not gonna be able to do this. Now, if you can do it two days a week, that's better than nothing, but it is important for you to be able to spend some time in the trading room actively trading. Now, if you can't do that, then I'd say focus on options trades, okay? 
And you need to think about what size of account you can open. A lot of people ask me about this too. Retail day trading accounts require $25,000 minimum. Prop trading accounts require a $2,500 minimum at most places. Now there are some places that will open up a prop account with as little as $500. I wouldn't necessarily suggest opening up a starter account with $500. I don't think that's enough money. I think $2,500 is a stable amount to begin, okay? But there are definitely options for you to actively trade uh, that are in a range. And if you want more information about that, we can talk about that another time. It's really important, though, for you to know which category you fit into. Also, what are your goals? so you can set the proper expectations for yourself and then also set the proper expectations for yourself for the timeline for you to get there. Now we're talking tonight about making a living. That amount of money varies for everybody here. What you would consider that you could pay your bills could be 100 grand, could be 50 grand, it could be 400 grand. But you need to look at where you're at right now and say, okay, well, how am I going to get to this point in the next six months, in the next three months, in the next 12 months? How am I going to get there? And that's where you have to start. But before you even begin to risk any money in the market at all, you really have to have a strategy to follow. And I do think it's important to have a mentor. And today was a great example of that because I had a huge call today. And I, I think a lot of people didn't necessarily have a lot of conviction in the trade, but did it anyways based on my call because, because of the way that it acted. And we'll talk about that when I bring the chart up. But most of the day is when I'm looking at stocks. And most of the day is when we're in and out. Today, it was a longer trade. But most of the day is we're in and out in a half an hour and sometimes in less than that. Sometimes it's a minute, sometimes it's five minutes, sometimes it's 15 minutes. Today was a later trade, but that's rare. Although I am going to show you the fast trade today in NVIDIA, which you could have done, and you could have been out in a half an hour, and it was a big move. But most of the days we will be in and out quick. So again, you have to be available between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. One thing that is so important, and I know people struggle with this, for teaching adults, and, and adults, I think adults are challenging, my sister is a teacher. She teaches children, and now I'm teaching adults. And the challenging thing is adults have to marry their expectations with their goals and dreams. Sometimes people want to be so realistic that they, then they don't dream at all. Then they, don't, then they basically give up before they've even started. And then some people are, are so dreamy that they want to never trade in their life, have $2,500, and run out tomorrow and make four hundred grand. Well, that's probably not realistic either. So somewhere in between totally giving up and not even starting and waiting until you have all this money and not even doing anything at all and not even trading, not even trading small size and having very little money and having these huge expectations and no information or no knowledge, somewhere in between that is realistic and normal. And that's what I'm trying to teach people, okay? You can do this with my direction and start out small so that you can build it and that will increase your own confidence not only in trading and the system itself but in the market because if you've been trading in the past and you failed or lost money then it's hurt your confidence in the market and one of the things that i have a high level of is confidence i have confidence in myself and i have confidence in my system okay so you're you as an adult have to be realistic with your goals but you also have to believe in them and believe in the dream to achieve them. Because if you give up, then they're dead. There's no point in you even trading or doing anything at all. If you have stopped believing that you can actually pull money from the market on a regular, consistent basis and win and not lose, if you actually have stopped believing that you can be successful, then you should quit and never take one more trade in the market again. It's amazing to me how many people I talk about that really have no confidence, don't believe in themselves, think they're going to lose, and keep trading every day. That is super duper silliness, people, okay? Be normal in your expectations. Know that you can do this. I'm here to help you. If you want to come and learn my method as a student, I will help you do it. But you have to be aware of the fact that you have to be realis realistic with your expectations but you can get there and it doesn't have to take some crazy long amount of time. It doesn't have to take a year. It doesn't have to take six months. It doesn't have to take forever. You can actually become successful in a normal period of time. All right. But you have to stay on track. And part of it, that is the focus and building the confidence in yourself. And I call it green, 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 winning days. Okay. Kathy sent out in the, in the jiggy, in the email a couple times in the last few days this week, the tracking for the entire year of 2018. So you could see the results. We're not going to go over that tonight. It is on YouTube too. If you want to go there and subscribe to my YouTube, Kathy, you can put uh, the YouTube link in the room if you, if you have that for anybody. 
Anyways, you can do it from home, which is nice. I'm at home right now. It's evening time here in, in New York. So one of the things that I teach is gaps. Now, this is a gap way back from, I don't know, two weeks ago or something. This was CTRP. This was a good trade as well. We're going to go over NVIDIA in a second, but this was another one previous to that that happened that was a good short. So if you want to learn from me, I teach people how to short. And shorting is great because you know what? Short moves or selling moves happen really fast in the market. And, and that's exciting to me. Making a lot of money fast is exciting to me. It always will be. It's not that you can't make money going long. You can. You absolutely can. But I find that trains when you're going long take longer. It's funny, but it's true. Short moves happen faster. Okay. And I like the fast trades. And again, I told you I like to focus in the morning. So CTRP closed here the night before and gap down here. So closed the night before here at 34 and gap down here around $30. What happened? It fell. It fell $4 overnight. Boom. Just like here. So then what do I do? I get up in the morning and I look at this in the pre-market and I try to determine if this stock is going to move higher or lower. Is it a short or is it a long? And that's what I look at each morning. And this was one, This again, this was a couple, a couple, two, a couple weeks ago, earlier in the month, where I chose to watch it and I said, this is a short. This is going to work as a short. And you can see here, it did work as a short. It fell in the day. If you shorted this, you made money and it dropped for the consecutive days down. In fact, let's just take a peek at that. Hang on here. I'm going to pull my chart up in one second and look at that because I have not looked at CTRP since... Let's just look at this here with this then. This is, again, when you're going to trade, we're doing the day trades in and out, but that drop off that had you could have done as an option, which I didn't call an option, this I should have, and also a swing trade here. Let's just look at this. I just want to see. Oh, see here. Look at this. So this was the day we did it. Can everybody see this here? I put the chart up quick. This was the day we did it here. Here's the drop off here. Here, look at it now. This is actually setting up again. This is still lower. This looks dead, dead in arrival here. Wow, look at that. Nope, I haven't looked at this for days. So the previous low in here on the 13th was $25, and today it's only at 26. This is absolutely dead. Wow, that's interesting. I forgot about that one. Anyways, that was a good example of a nice short, and you can see the follow through. Now, today we did NVIDIA. So what happened today? Today was a little bit crazy because I really like the video. And there wasn't a lot to watch today. And Mondays are the slowest days of the week, just so you know that. Some days we don't do anything on a Monday. But every once in a while you get a good one. So I really liked the video. The video gap down on Friday. So I love this today. But I got to be honest with you. I called this trade out of the gate and I was ready to go and I didn't get it. Some people got it in the room. Some people got this move here. I called to short it right here and look what the stock did. This was insanity. We all sat and the people that didn't get it sat and watched it drop. The stock dropped $8. I called this trade here this morning at this moment right in here. You can see it. Right in here it was around 160 and change. And the stock dropped all the way down into 10 o'clock to 150 something. It dropped like more than $8 actually from the entry. So I did not do this trade here. But some people in the room did. And if I had done it, I called it. I just wasn't fast enough to get it. If I had done it, I would have gotten out somewhere in here. I definitely would not have gotten this whole move. But I think this is something to go back and to look at and to see because it was such a big move and it was such an immediate sell-off. And if you didn't, if you weren't aggressive on this, which I tried to be, I just didn't hit it fast enough. Literally, it broke so quick. But if you were aggressive on this, it was a huge trade. But the fact that it worked. And I knew the gap rated well per my system. The gap rated 24 points. So this was from Friday. Here's the drop off here. I knew the trade was set up again. So I called it later. Again, this was unusual today, but because I didn't get the morning trade, here was the morning drop off. Boom, boom. I called this again later. And sometimes I will do a late trade, but the timing here was good. So I called this afternoon move, and this was still a big move in here. I'm going to go over this trade right now. But you could have done my call immediately here. And this is typically what I do. I just missed it today. And then you could have done this here too. So some people did both. Some people did this and they didn't do the afternoon one. Some people did this and this. And I missed this, so I did this. Normally I will only focus on the morning though. So I probably would not have done this afternoon trade if I had made my goal for the day in the morning, just so you know. But this was the gap, and we're going back here, and it's a 15-minute chart. One of the reasons this worked as a sell-off was the gap rated 24 points. So I have a 26-point rating system. If you came and learned my system, that's what you'd learn. You'd learn the 26 points. How does it work? The highest score is the best-rated gap. It's about, it's about high odds, okay? So there's 
You, I don't know until the stock sets up if it's going to work. I don't get in the trade in the pre-market. I'm waiting. I'm watching. Like, like this one here. Look at this. So I'm waiting to get it. If it sets up, it may not set up at all. In which case, then I don't do it. I don't lose any money. I don't take a trade in it. But the rating system says, Melissa, watch this stock today. It's good. It rates high. And 24 points was a very highly rated gap. It's almost as close as perfect as you can get. So my system is developed to have the most points. The highest points is the best one to watch. Now, some days you get a couple gaps and they all rate good. Then you got to choose which one you're going to do or you do a couple. Okay. So for me, I like to do one thing at a time. That's just what I find is good for me as a focus. And I'm running around at the same time too. But this gap rated extremely high. So I had a high level of conviction in it. I love this. I knew it was going to break. And the funny thing was that it didn't work right on Friday. It only broke late Friday. Today it fell off the planet right into the open, okay, which was terrific. And one of the reasons it's a good trade. So we're going to go over the option trade and the day trade in this from today. But the point is that the rating system directs me. Melissa, watch NVIDIA. It rates 24 points. And so that's how I know to do it. So if you came and learned my system, that's how you'd know. And I'm saying NVIDIA because that was the one today and Friday, but it could have been any one of a number of things. We also did JWN on Friday. So many days, there's a couple things to rate. It seems like there's a lot of points, but that's what's going to help you make the money. Because if you go through this process and you're that convinced that it has this many things on its side to work, again, you want the highest odds of something's going to work. There's nothing that's 100%. Okay, You're, you, there's nothing 100%. You have to say, I want to put all these things in my favor. All these things are telling me this is really, really good. All of these things are aligned. Boom, do it if it sets up. And that's how you know. And then once in a while, you have a trade that loses. There will be times when sometimes trades don't work. And that's why I use a stop. A stop is like insurance. I get stopped out in a trade. I lose one risk unit. And then I go on to take another setup if it sets up again. Or maybe I stop for the day. Your goal is to have no more than two, if that, losing days on any given month. And if you have more than that, you're probably in the red because you've got to cover those losses and win the rest of the month. And you also have to cover your costs as a trader and then you also have to pay yourself. So you can't have that many losing days when you're trading at all. So, and that is something that people struggle with too. Once they have a down day, then they tend to spiral out of control. And I close the trading room, usually about 10, 15, 10, 30 in the morning because I don't want people to run out of control. I don't want myself to run out of control. And I also understand that it can slip away very easily. You can take a trade and lose, be down in one trade and you say, okay, fine, I'm going to take another one. Then you take a second trade and that trade for whatever reason fails too. And then all of a sudden down too. And you're in danger of having a horrible day. The best thing you can do sometimes is just shut it off because you can always come back. You can always come back, come back in one trade. And this trade would be a great example of that, for example, here today. All right. Anyways, this was a nice one here today. So here was the gap, though, from Friday. I'm going to go back. NVIDIA had earnings. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was Thursday night. It was Thursday night when it reported. Stock closed here the night before, gap down. Closed up here around 204 or whatever. Stock open here in the morning around, I don't know, 160 something. This was in the 163, I think it was, or something on Friday. Then the stock rallied because day traders love to buy this as a gap fill. That's where they think this is going to go. That's wrong. Completely, totally, totally, totally wrong. So day traders were picking. The, this was such a good call. Here, I'm just going to pull the chart up because this is it's just going to be better if I just talk it here. Hold on. Gosh, this is such a good call. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even see how this closed. Galahad, are you still on the option? I didn't even go back and look at this since I was running the webinar. This was closed. Oh. Oh my Lanty. Ah, I got out of this trade today. This dropped another umpteen points as I got out of it. Oh my Lanta. <gasps> Holy crap. Galahad is still in this. How much are you up in this into the close? Oh my God. This is such a huge call. All right, let's go over it. Anyways, I'm going to pretend that this didn't happen today. Galahad, how much money are you up into the close? This one here 
This one here was Friday. So this was a gap that I really liked on Friday and we watched it. And most day traders are doing what? They're buying NVIDIA into support. The prior support is back here. They think the stock is going to rally and fill the gap. And that's what most people do. That's wrong, wrong, wrong. That's actually what most places teach. They teach classes on it umpteen million places in the planet. They think the stock's going to hold in support. They think everybody loves NVIDIA in the world. They think the stock's going to rally and the stock had a lift. The stock had a lift and it pushed back. And 170 was the level I was watching. And this counts as a hold because it only went 60 cents cents over it. And at this price point, to me, that counts as a hold. Anyways, the stock took too long to go on Friday. She could have done it out of the gate and taken a stop and retaken and made money. Or you could have just got off of it because it really took a long time to break on Friday. But the stock was always, always, always a short. So on Friday morning at 9 a.m., it was even before the open, I called a put in this. And that trade was a huge monster trade today. And we are going to talk about that. Then I called a second trade, which I didn't even put in the webinar, which is the one that Galahad's in. I called a second trade today. In the middle of the day, I called a second trade. You're at $425 in one contract. Of the one today, Galahad, I called a second trade in this today for the 145 puts. Holy crap. And this is already up too. Here, what time did I call that? This is, I'm totally off kilter here. I just want to look and see what time I called that to make my point here with you people. What time did I call that, Galahad? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 1252. 1252, I called it. Here, look. So let's look at this just to see what I'm seeing. So you could, this is why you people got to learn what I know. Here, 12, I called, so it, so, that, so that was the, we're going to talk about the trade from Friday. That one I said, I told everybody, get out of it today. And I think everybody did because they were up so much in the morning. Then I called, this was at almost 1 o'clock. I said, buy the puts 145, expiring out a week and a half. Here's the targets I gave in this trade. This trade is still on. Some people are still in the first one, but I don't think necessarily anyone should have been in the first one. Holy crap, I didn't see where that went. So that's the one Galahad's up in already. Let's see what time I called that, 12.52. Oh, it was the same time almost as a day trade was going. So I called that right in here, right there. Oh my God, I didn't even see how this closed. Hold on, everybody. I just want to see where this is at tonight. This is way too late for anybody that's here tonight to do this trade. Don't chase this now that we're talking about it. But if, if you were on the letter in the room and did this trade, this is going to go again. Oh, my Lanta. Anyways, let's go back and look at this, and then I'll go back to the PowerPoint. The point I wanted to make in this was that so many people don't understand gaps. Now, today you could look at this, and if you were an idiot, you'd say, oh, obviously that's a short. But I call this as a short on Friday. And I called it as a short on Friday when that bar was a solid green. It rallied $6. We got stopped in the first day trade on this, and I called it as a put. And I still had conviction in the fact it would sell off, and then here it is. So what I'm trying to get at is when you are looking to trade, it seems like it makes sense to buy support. And it seems like it makes sense to short resistance. And it seems like it makes all the sense in the world to do that. And that's what you've been taught by a million places. And we watch all the free crap online. You believe that? And that's what you think. And that's what you do. And some of those trades work and some of them fail. But guess what? They don't work all the time. They don't even work more than 50% of the time. And in the end, you will lose because you can't just buy support and you can't just short resistance in a stock and anything at all. You can't do it. You cannot do it. NVIDIA gapped down. The gap rated 24 points. So I knew that institutions were going to sell this sucker off. It took a while for them to do it. They didn't do it out of the gate here like this day on, on, on today. It took basically a day. It took basically a day for this to go. Here's the one minute. It did not sell off like this on Friday. I wanted it to. I wanted it to. I thought it was going to do this on Friday. It took until today. So I knew institutions were going to sell off NVIDIA. And that's what I get from the rating system. It tells me not what day traders are going to do. Not that day traders are going to try to buy this up to do a gap fill what hedge funds are going to do, what big professional traders are going to do. They're dumping the stock. They're dumping the stock. This stock closed the night before. This is before the earnings. Now, just listen to what I'm saying here, people. 204. And now I just looked at where it closed today. I didn't even see that. It's broke 145. So the stock, I mean, what is that? 204. Let's just figure this out exactly. It's like 60 some points. 204 minus 144. It wasn't quite a one. It's like 60 points. The stock lost almost 60 points 
from Thursday night until Monday night. So this is what, what you got to learn how to do, okay, if you want to make money. And it's something that I'm so good at. Oh, sorry, I have the wrong slide up here for the CTRP. CTRP ratings, just so you know, there, that was 23 points. Anyways, let's go over the day trade today. This is not the option. We're going to get to that next. This was the late trade, the morning trade I called I didn't get. So the late trade I called I did get, 154.25. Stop was not small. It was 156.76. I told people, don't be tight with this. A share is worth 1,000. Did an ad at 153.60. Still not a huge amount because of the size of the stop. 2,000 shares. Price then was 153.93-ish. I can't believe this went $4 after I got out of it. That is hilariousness. But anyways, I thought I had a good exit at 148.70. And the stock, we just saw it. That's why I'm like a gas. The stock went to, the stock went $4 under this number. That is crazy. I could have made another $8,000 today. I'm like, I'm just beside myself. But what are you going to do? I had a great day. I thought I had a great exit on this. 10,460. Huge, huge, huge trade. But I dropped $4 under that. <laughs> Let's go back and look at that. I thought I had a great exit on this. <laughs> Anyways, here was the drop off, but it kept falling into the close. That's hilarious. Anyways, this is a day trade. This is a day trade. If you want to come actively day trade, you do the equity trade. Now, what if you want to do the option? Galahad's in the option. That's what I was talking about. We'll go over that trade in a minute. The system is the same. Whether you do it as an option, whether you do it as a swing trade, you do what you can afford. Some people cannot afford to do equity trades like that. Why? Because of the price of the cost of the stock. But I think this is a great way to make money doing the equity trades. The options trades, if you have a limitation and you don't have the margin to do it, then open up an option account. You could have bought the put. You could have bought the put in it, and all it is is the cost of whatever the put is, whether it's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whatever the cost of the put is, the price of the stock will vary and doesn't mean that you, you don't need to have the margin then. But what tells you that it's going to work is the rating system. I cannot believe that that went four dollars after I got out of it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, the Golden Gap rating system is what gives me the conviction to make the calls and do it. So let's talk about what kind of trading account do you need and how much money. As I said before, if you're going to do an options account, options trades, you can open up an options account anywhere. You can do options, whatever they require. I think some of them require 2000 as a minimum starter, okay? But again, you can check around. 2500 I think, is good for the prop, and 25000 is required for retail. But the, the ones that we do, the day trades like that, the, the equity trade for NVIDIA, not the option, okay? These are not cash positions. So I'm out, out every day, flat, flat before the end of the day. In fact, I had some people, some students that were texting me today, should I hold it overnight? Obviously the stock's lower, but I don't think that's a good idea. When you hold overnight, you're always at risk something, can, something can happen. So when you have a margin account and you carry it overnight, you better really be sure that it's going to keep going. I think it's better to exit all trades on margin into the close before the close. Now, options trades aren't on margin. You can hold them overnight. Again, all you're doing is taking the risk of whatever the cost of the trade is that you paid. But you can trade the Golden Gap system with any size day trade account. The most important thing is to learn the system first. That's what allows you to do these trades. Because I'm sure a lot of people, when I called that trade that I called this afternoon and just showed you at 1 o'clock that I don't have in the webinar, I'm sure a lot of people didn't do that. I'll find out later in the week because it was so far gone, people probably thought it wasn't going to go. And even I'm surprised that it broke 145 today. Today! That's definitely probably going to go to the dream target. Anyways, I'd like to short. So you buy the put or you short the equity. Either way, I do not trade penny stocks. I hate them. They're just worthless institutions, JP Morgan Chase is not buying any penny stocks. We are trading stocks that move, aka NVIDIA, and stocks that you can make bank, people. And you, you don't need trades like this every day. One or two or three a month, and you're golden. And in between, you're careful, you make what you make, you chunk it out, and you keep your losses limited, okay? Any questions so far with anybody that I'm going on in here? But it's very, very important, okay? To follow a mentor so you don't struggle, okay? Very, 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 very important. And getting education is important because training to me is so much of it is common sense. It's just common sense. You learn how to do it 
I didn't make sense. It would never make sense to go long NVIDIA, and yet that is what people did. That is what people did on Friday. There were people that went long NVIDIA on that stock on Friday. They got killed today. Absolutely killed. Yeah, KC, you, I just showed you. That was the trade. I sent it out. I sent it out to the room. If there's a late trade, I send it out. Boom. I have everybody on the list. I send it out. Or if I have a, at the option trade, I send it out. Any Everybody's on the list. After the room is closed, if there's something to happen, I send it out. In fact, on that trade today, I said hurry. Hurry meaning quickly take it. Here, I just had it up. Where was that? I said on it. Here, you may not have seen this. <laughs> said hurry. That meant emergency trade. Does everybody see that? This is, I sent this to the list, which I normally just send a trade, and I said hurry. nobody that does that but me probably <laughs> hurry and take it before you miss it anyways what makes some people successful and some people fail at day trading all right let's get serious here now I'm trying to get lecture I know I'm going off and off about Nvidia because I, I'm just I, I'm, I'm it's so hilarious that it went so much farther since the since the close but what makes some people successful and some people fail at day trading? Well, you know what? A lot of people that do it don't have the focus. You had to have the right focus today. You had to have the right focus in NVIDIA. I had the focus in NVIDIA Friday and the focus in NVIDIA today. So many people lack clarity. They're like, oh, this is rallying, so it's a long. Oh, it's dropping, so it's a short. Oh, now I don't know what to do. I'm second guessing myself. You need conviction to trade well and make money, period, end of story. And any money, let alone my, this kind of money, 40 grand a month. The conviction comes from the knowledge because without that, you will never be successful. So you have to have the confidence. You have to have the conviction, but the knowledge gives it to you. And then with the knowledge, you make the money. Knowledge is key to conviction, and conviction allows you to take the risk and be successful and feel relaxed in your choices instead of feeling stressed. And a lot of people trade in a space where they are in a stress mode and they're in a worryment, and they don't know what to do. And that creates, guess what? More stress and more losses, okay? And so it's really, it's really very important to keep your stress level down. Don't get stressed out. If you know what to do, you won't be stressed. If you're losing, you will be stressed. And if you're losing, you probably should learn another strategy or system to do. Because if you're losing in the market, you're, you're doing something wrong. You're flat out just doing something wrong, period, end of story, okay? Anyways, there's no overnight risk in day trading, which is the nice thing. Again, I said you get out when you're flat by four. You're always in control of your money, which means the total position you take can be much larger since you're in control at all time, and especially if you're trading on margin and you get in and out and, and the stops, the stop helps you. The stop protects you. And again, we're trading stocks with volume. But the returns can be incredible. If you think about that trade again today in the video, that was an incredible return incredible return and and again I could have held it longer but it doesn't even matter so as a matter of fact you you can't even think about it if you looked at percentages based on annual returns to make this kind of money it would be crazy high it would be in the thousands of percent so you can't look at it like that because you have to look at it like you're going in and you're taking it it's about the risk to reward if you risk a thousand you're looking to make a thousand if you risk two thousand you're looking to make two thousand that's the goal okay so what I do is I find stocks every day that move. This is for the day trading. I'm trying to get in and out in 30 minutes, but if I miss the move like this morning, then I will do it later. I will do it later if I think it has more room to go, and this was the case today, okay? But you're not long-term investing in this. If you want to do that, that's fine. Then you do swing trades. Swing trades is for longer, okay? Or just really buying stocks and holding them. But I don't think anyone should be short overnight any stocks necessarily unless it's something so good and so perfect. And NVIDIA is actually one of those because the market is very bullish. I know the market sold off today, but the fact is the market is holding the uptrend. So I wouldn't be in any overnights unless they are perfect, perfect shorts, which actually NVIDIA is. But day trading isn't investing. You're not Warren Buffett when you're doing this. This is a way of producing income. It's not investing. And, and if you risk a, a great deal amount, you can make a lot in one day. So you say, well, this seems like it's investing, but it's still not. It's still not. It has to do with the amount that you risk. And some days you'll make 700 bucks. Some days you'll make 800 bucks. Some days you'll make 1,000. Not every day is going to be huge, but it is so great when you do get the huge days. It really, really, really is. You're, taught, you're taking money, though, and you're taking it out of the market in the momentum. 
you're and you're looking for the move you're looking for the momentum you're shorting selling action you're buying uh you're going long with a buying action okay so you have to know what that looks like and if you don't know what that looks like you're going to struggle okay think of it like you have goals and you're chunking it out to make those goals whatever they are and again if you can't risk this amount to make this amount you'd need to risk about fifteen hundred two thousand dollars a trade to make 400 grand a year and if you can't afford to risk that now it doesn't mean you should not trade until you can it doesn't mean that at all because you may have a learning curve and you got to face that fact and if you've been learning stuff in the past that's wrong you're definitely gonna have a learning curve because you might have gone long the video thinking that it was gonna rally instead of shorting it and missing the good trade you have to get real with yourself if you, the sooner you get started the faster you will achieve your goal don't put your whole life on hold because you can't be what you where you want to be right now or this week the longer that you wait the more you're gonna miss opportunity that's true in anything you want to do I don't care what you're trying to do anything you want to do anything at all okay the longer you put it off you're just putting off the opportunity for yourself people think they're not ready but that but you'll surprise yourself you'll surprise yourself a lot and realize wow I was more ready than I thought I was I can do this it's again it's about instilling the confidence in yourself so it's about looking for the move so I'm typically looking for a dollar a day and I'm going on average because obviously you're looking for more than that in a stock at a price point of 160 like Nvidia but typically we're doing stocks in the 20 30 45 50 dollar range so I'm looking for a buck or more some trades are really good and you'll make money of 50 cents it'll turn it around but usually we're looking for a dollar okay but if you can't day trade if you can't actively do the equity trades in the morning then you have other options and the other options are doing options now here was this wasn't the second call in the video this was the first one this was the one I called on Friday okay so this was the call I said to buy the 167 puts for due out this Friday expiring this Friday targets were 166 165 160 this was a joke now looking at it the stock went to 144 I called this November 16th on Friday morning before the open that is such a huge call what a great read on that stock this is the reason that you people would pay me money to come learn from me and you'd get these calls too so if you did this and you bought one contract the risk was $465. You could have sold it today for 18. I don't even know where this closed. Probably closed over 20. It was crazy. Just kept going. Profit would have been $1,335. Return on investment in, in this option trade. This is a beginner risk. 287%. Now, same trade. If you had an advanced trader risk, you could have bought 10 contracts. $4,650. Sold it today at 18. Was totally realistic. Totally, totally realistic. But it kept going anyways. 13,335 again you had to risk 4650 to do it or you could have risked less I'm showing you two examples beginner and advanced or maybe you're somewhere in between return on investments the same this is an option trade but you were slightly down in this when you bought it here on Friday and I'm gonna go back to the chart because it rallied so when I called the trade and you took it then it rallied and you were down slightly here until it broke and then here's the big money and this is where you need conviction if you don't know what you're doing here you might have taken the trade Friday and you might have killed it and then you would have really been kicking yourself in the butt after today you got to know how to trade you shouldn't risk any money in the market unless you know what to do or are listening to someone like me that does that was a great call and Eric you you're not on the letter Eric you missed it I'm seeing what you wrote I'll, I'll that's a long question I'll email you later Eric you missed this trade any questions from anyone at all about anything but the benefits of trading options versus equity trades are what no margin requirements no day trading margin requirements only cost is the price you pay for the trade you can make active money you don't have to be in the room every day and you'll get huge trades like this I do think it's best to do both it's absolutely best to learn the system I do think it's important to learn both and I think it's important to do both because you don't get big trades like this every week and the options and it's you can make chunk it chunk it chunk it more by being in the room because we get way more trades in the room I do not call options trades every day just so you know so the letter if you're on the letter it's whenever I see a trade it could be one a week it could be five a week I don't know but the day trades we get way way more and you can make a good return investment 
if you can't be in the room, that's your only option, really is the options, but it is something that is definitely, uh, you've got to still learn how to read a chart because you might have killed that trade on Friday. I don't, I don't think anybody did. But the train I called, the second trade I called today, I don't, I don't know if everybody did it because of the fact that I called it so late and it fell so hard that I don't, I don't think everybody did that trade. I'll have to find out later. Anyways, if you want to have financial freedom, then you better start thinking like an independent person. And if you are in fear and if you're worried and you got to have everything perfect, you're going to be waiting forever and life's going to pass you by. You have to think of yourself as a person that's independent. You're going to go out there. You're going to take chances. You're going to take risks and you're going to make it happen for yourself. That's what I did for myself and I'm still doing it now. If that's what you want, then you can be successful. And if you're going to sit in the silence and wait and wait and wait till everything's lined up, you have all the money in the world and everything's perfect and you have all this time, guess what? You're going to miss the opportunity. You're going to miss it. It's going to go poof like that. You're going to miss the opportunity to learn from me, learn my system, do it. And it's going to be six months, 12 months, two years down the line. And things now are, are going to be more perfect. They're going to be worse because life pays you when you're willing to believe in yourself. It's amazing when you put it out there in the universe that you believe in yourself and you want to be successful and you want it really, really freaking badly. Guess what? The universe will back you up and will support you. But if you go out there like a worry wart and you think, oh, this and oh, this and it's on and 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 you take forever and you can't make up your mind and you don't know what to do and you're in fear of every trade you take and you can't get committed to trading, you don't want to learn, you say, well, I don't, guess what? The universe reads that, the market reads that, and you may as well just just pack it in because the market's never going to pay you if you think like that. And you're never going to be successful if you think like that. And you're going to be stuck in the same dead end job for the rest of your life or worse. So you have no one but yourself to blame if you're not where you want because you could change your life today. It doesn't mean it's going to turn around in a second. That's not what I said at all. It means you're going to get on the right path and you're going to start thinking the thoughts and putting the messages that are correct for your own success and financial freedom out in the universe and it's going to come back to you and it's going to come back to you 10 times fold I'm telling you right now and so you have the power to change your own mind and the thoughts that you're thinking about what you want to create in your life and if you are negative about the market about trading about losing about classes about your career about money okay then that is what you're going to create in your life you're going to keep creating more and more and more of it I'm never surprised when I talk to people and they give me these crazy numbers of money that they lost in the market I'm never surprised and they have such a negative attitude I think well this person is so negative how do they think they're gonna get you know become successful you've got to turn your attitude around the knowledge is only part of it it's a very important piece of it it's a huge piece of it because if you don't trade well and you don't learn what I know it's gonna be hard for you to do it but if you still have to have the right attitude to do it to even get to that point because I call it this trade for everybody and not everybody had a great trade in this. Some people made money, some people made a little, some people made a medium, some people made a lot, some people didn't do it. So what's the difference? You know, it's knowledge, attitude. So financial freedom can be yours for many people. Many people just want to do a job they like. I mean, they don't even mind if they have to work 40 hours a week. But the nice thing about trading is you really don't have to work 40 hours a week. Today was a later day. But the fact is that you didn't have to trade this late today if you got it right out of the game. It's just that I missed it. And quite frankly, if I had, I don't think I would have done it, like I said. But either way, you can learn how to do this. Have the proper expectations of yourself. Set your goals for yourself. This is a great time of the year to do that. It's so perfect because it's not quite January 1st yet. You have time in your mind to get situated in your head about things you want to do to plan. You can use the next month in December to get situated, to get things set up, to start learning and take the class and then start January run right out of the gate running and right off your feet, okay, and go for it. So if you want to learn how to trade, I can teach you in one strategy, one system. And again, like I said, you can work from home. So it's just a question or not if you want to learn. I do think it's very valuable to learn how to do this. In fact, I think you shouldn't trade if you don't know how to trade. And NVIDIA is a great example because traders were going long that stock. In fact, I had someone email me the other day. He's like, this one room I'm in, we always do the opposite of you and I don't know what to do. I'm so sick of it. And he's right, okay? So the rating system is the key. This is the critical piece of what I do. It measures gaps by rating them in the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, a big move in the day like NVIDIA. Huge. Early confirmation of the bias, which we got today. We got that today in the NVIDIA between 9.30 and 10. 
and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential, which is really, really nice. So how can you achieve your goal? You chunk it out, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. And then eventually you will get days like today where you have a huge move and a huge trade. The more you trade, the better you get it. The money comes easier. And then you're not so upset. When you have a trade that's a loss, it's not the end of the world. And you don't go hog wild and trade all day and lose your account. You take one trade, it doesn't work. You say, well, that sucks, but I'll do another one or I'll stop for the day, okay? You have to be consistent, though, consistent with what you're doing, consistent with the share size, consistent with the risk, consistent with the strategy. And it's just a function of the more that you risk, the more you're going to make, okay? So what would you learn from me? The Golden Gap System. That in the video was 24 points. This is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system, and the purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade, when, and in what direction, and the 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock, and that is how you are going to make money in the market, my friends. You will never make money if you're in the wrong direction. You will lose. <laughs> it's just that simple, quite frankly, but figuring out what stock to get and in what direction is not so simple. So one strategy is all you need to be successful in the market. And you do not need a general overall broad base of view to make money. You don't need to know fundamentals at all. You don't ever have to have traded in your life. And a lot of people know tons of stuff about fundamentals. And it doesn't serve them at all. I have no idea what their earnings said on NVIDIA. I don't even care. Okay? Learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps. And you don't need to do anything else. You can do them as options. You can do them as swing trades. You can do them as day trades. Because if your reason for doing this is to make money, then that's all that matters, people. You will do other things with your life. This is fun, and it's fun, and you make money, and that's fun, and you have to have a positive attitude about it. But ultimately, you want to do other things with your life. Doing this and being successful allows you to pay your bills, and then you can do other things with your life. Spend time with your family, not work as hard. Go on TV is what I'm doing. So you can do other things. You don't have to be trapped to a job 60 hours a week, okay, and still merely getting by. The idea of trading is just to make money to support you. It's not like you're changing the world when you become a trader. I mean, it's, it's, it's seriously, you're not changing the world here. So if I bought the put and it does go up, do you still go flat at the end of the day or hold the put until it expires? Are you talking, in, is this a generalized question or are you talking about NVIDIA? Are you saying you're going to buy NVIDIA tomorrow morning or are you just saying, in, is this a generalized question, Joel? God, you people, I, I honestly, honestly, you, I think you're chasing this. Here, I, I mean, I, I, first of all, for everyone that's in the trade that I called today, you hold it through. But you could have got out. Galahad could have got out today. That's 450 bucks. You could have taken it. If you are still in it, I think it's good. If you didn't do anything you want to do and it's lower tonight, we're in the after hours tonight. Now, I don't know where this opens tomorrow morning. I don't know if it gaps down. You can't take this trade now tonight. You can own the market trades options. You can take a little bit before and a little bit after, but it's way too late. You have to wait till tomorrow, and I don't know where this goes. I have no idea. This could open tomorrow at 143. It could open tomorrow at 152. I, I don't know. Because I also don't know where the market goes tomorrow. I'm saying this is lower between now and the call to November 30th. So if you did the trade today, your price is good. If you want to do this tomorrow, I have no idea where it opens. If you want to do it and it goes, fine. And if you want to kill it, if it if it goes against you, then fine. I don't trade like that. And I'm not telling anyone to trade like that. And if you want to learn my system, you do it. You sign up, you get in, you get the letter. I mean, I'll call another trade like this for sure. I call trades like this all the time. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't chase this. I really, I really don't want to see people lose money because we're chasing trades that I'm talking about in webinars. This was an example of something that happened that was great. If you happen to be on the letter of the room, you got it. I have no idea if this opens tomorrow morning. It could be $3 down. It could be $3 up. I think this is going to be wild. I think at some point this could look climactic, and then people are going to try to buy it. But don't buy this. Don't buy this ever again. <laughs> That's my advice to you. But I, you know, I, to chase this now would be a, a poor choice, I think. That's gambling. That's gambling. It's gambling. You want to make money, so don't chase it. Okay, in general. 
The stop loss has to be the same. It's determined by you, you, and your alone and based on the size of your account. I'm telling you, in order to make this kind of money, you've got to risk between $1,500 and $2,000 a trade. That's it. That's your risk. Your risk is your risk. The trade either stops or it doesn't. That's it. There's no squeezing it in or whatever. And you take the risk. You let the trade play out. That's it. That's how I do it. So you determine the risk. You take the trade. The trade's got to play out. There's no killing it. There's no taking it. Quit killing it. And you know what? I know people that do that and they run rooms that do that. You determine if you're going to risk the whatever. If you say, I believe in this and I love this sucker, I'm going to risk $1,000 in this option trade. I'm pretending I'm you. And if you do that on Friday and you say, I love this, this is going to go. But it didn't go on Friday. It did not. But you risked $1,000 and you weren't up. And in fact, you were down. Now, say you were down and you, the option, say you were down 300 bucks. We, if you had killed it, you would have been sorry. You got to let the trades play out. You, if you don't want to risk 1000 then don't. Then you risk 300 If you're nervous when you're down 300 well, then you clearly shouldn't have risked 1000 You must let the trades play out. That's it. Whatever risk you take, you let them play on out. Whether it's the day trade, whether it's the options trade. I mean, I wish that every single solitary trade I called in the planet went the second that I called them. And I know Galahad gets annoyed that that's not true. <laughs> Galahad gets, if I, if I don't call a trade and it doesn't go immediately like the video, then Galahad has a conniption. I'm sorry that not every trade that I call goes to be huge in the second, but they usually do. <laughs> so, I mean, I just, you know, I wish I was like, like that good. I am pretty good, but I, I'm not that good. Although sometimes they do are like that. <sighs> I mean, you know, you got to give the trades a chance to work. You must be prepared. You must be prepared that the trade is going to wiggle and jiggle. And the wiggling and jiggling could happen in the day trade. The wiggling and jiggling could happen in the day trade. You could take the trade. You could put the stop in. Look, this is, this is, a, this is, a, this is look at this. This is gapping down right now. I'm just watching this here. You could take the trade and you could be in it. And it may not have stopped you out in a day trade I'm talking about. And then you might be down. And then it might go on huge. And what if you killed it? I know that there's trading rooms that trade like that. That is, I'll tell you what that is. It's called zero conviction. It's called the opposite of conviction. It's called negative conviction. Don't take a darn trade if you don't believe in it. And don't take the risk in it if you don't think it's going to go. You got to give trades a chance to work. I'm not directing these stocks. I'm seeing it. I'm predicting it. I'm saying this is going to happen. I can't tell you the exact time, second, minute, and exact moment in time every time. But I'm telling you that it's going to. And high odds. So therefore, take the risk. Give it a chance. In general, you should never risk more than you were prepared to lose in a trade. And I'm not killing trades willy-nilly. And people that run rooms that do that is zero conviction. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, they don't know what the heck they're doing. Because they're taking pot shots. Well, we'll take this and if it goes, we'll, if it doesn't, we'll kill it. Well, we'll take this other one. If it works right, at least we'll get out. Well, we'll take this one. Well, we'll try this one here. Well, we'll do this one. And all of a sudden, you got 20 trades that you did. You, you're, you're up 250 bucks. You just did 20 trades. You're like, what the heck did I just do? And you have a huge headache. And it's, it's only 1045. I mean, that is how people run rooms and trade. That is insanity to me. Now, this is a late trade. But to take a trade, to be up in it, and just let it go, do 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 ba do ba do that is totally not stressful. That is a beautiful thing. That's no stress at all. And sometimes I get annoyed in the morning if somebody doesn't go right away. And that's just because I'm very impatient. But when you take a train, if you got to wait to let it run out a little bit, then that's not the end of the world. If you're in one thing, one thing, you have to have a little bit of patience I know people take trades and kill them like that. If you start trading like that, you're gonna, you're just gonna be like very jittery, like, ooh, ooh, wait, it's a, it moved it. The market, Trump tweeted, now it's up, now it's down. I mean, that's, that is not a professional person. Do you, do, do you get where I'm going with this here? Don't trade like that. As far as this goes, I don't think anyone should be doing any late calls that I make. I'll make a million more, so. Just, you know, if you want to get on board, you get on board. I wouldn't chase this. Anyways, you can make money. You can work from home. I teach a class. The next class is December 15th and 16th. I am running a Black Friday opera through next Sunday. Today is your lucky day. They're going to give me $1,000 off the class and a whole bunch of other stuff. 
Class is normally $59.99. Black Friday sale through Sunday, November 25th is $1,000 off the class. You sign up by Sunday, November 25th. If you want to do the combo class with the trends and the golden gap, you'll still save $1,000. It's $54.99. Black Friday is 40% off all of these things. If you want to do one of these other things, just the option letter, sign up. It's $29.99 for the year. You would have gotten these calls in NVIDIA. The room, you have to be a student to sign up. If you're in the room, you get 40% off everything. The the class, though, for the Golden Gap course, I'm giving the trading room free and the options letter free for one year. So you could do the class, save $1,000, get the trading room for a year, the options letter free for a year, and the wealth class. So I also have this in here if you want mentoring sessions. No requirements for that specifically. But, you know, if you want to get in and learn before 2019, you can get the letter free and the trading room free for one year. Do the class and save 1000 bucks. And if you want to sign up for my class, I'm telling you right now, the price will never be any less than this. If this is the cheapest you're ever going to pay for my Golden Gap class. It's $49.99. You got till next Sunday. And some of you have been following me forever. I have no idea why you haven't signed up. But I know you love me. I think someday, though, I'm probably going to stop teaching the class and some of you are going to miss and never get to learn from me. Hope it doesn't happen for some of you. <laughs> Don't chase the video. Don't chase it. But you can learn from that chart. Any questions? Any questions from anyone? I am off for the rest of the week except for TV. And I'm having fun in New York. So no trials this week. If you want to sign up, you can email me. I am in the city. I'm going to be on TV a lot. And I will be around if you want to sign up for the special. It's here. Some of you have done a million trials anyways. That's my email. Congratulations, Galahad, before I leave. What are you going to do with Navinia? Because I'm off in the room tomorrow and I know Gyro's running the room. So tell me right now, where are you going to get out of this sucker? Tomorrow, where are you going to exit this trade? Go. 140. 142, if you're up a thousand dollars, what? Galahad is a student and he's actually listening to me. Galahad, are you there? Eric, email me your question and I will answer it in the email. 140 will be good. <laughs> If it gets to 140, I think you're going to be up $1,500 or maybe 2,000. If you can stomach it. Listen, any here. Let's look at the market quick. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? We set the low of the day here at two o'clock. Two o'clock. Oh, the cues kind of fell into the close here. I said that this morning. The cues look weaker than the spy. Listen, have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone. If I don't talk to any of you, and if I do talk to you, if you're interested in the class, email me. And think about the things I said tonight. Good lecture. Great day. And Didi, I've got you in the class for December. Galahad, good luck on the video. I think you can do it. I'm trying to think of something else I was going to say. Happy Thanksgiving, Galahad. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Great trade to go into the Thanksgiving week. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, have a good night, everyone. Email me if you have any questions or want to sign up for the Golden Gap course. Think about it. You got till next Sunday. That's it. All right. Good job. Have a good night. You're welcome.